The GTN damage model is developed by Gerson Tvergaard Needleman. In this model, different stages of ductile fracture, i.e., nucleation, growth, and coalescence of microvoids, can be recorded and also different parameters affecting the damage process can be discussed. The Gorson's original model is a continuum damage model that considers a damaged material as a continuous medium. This continuous medium has a constitutive equation, including the damage parameter, called porosity. Porosity parameter is one for completely damaged material and zero for undamaged material. This model was proposed for isotropic materials and through the calculation of hydrostatic stress, it can easily estimate and simulate the growth and expansion of cracks, the void region growths. The Gorsons model was later modified by Tvergaard and Needleman due to the main drawback in predicting the final instability, due to the microvoids coalescence in the final stage of fracture. This modified model has the ability to predict the nucleation, growth, and coalescence of voids. The GTN model has found many applications in engineering fields. For example, we can refer to the following instance. One material design and testing, especially tensile test. Engineers use the GTN model to design and test new materials, particularly those that need to withstand high stress and strain conditions. 2. Failure analysis. Engineers use the model to predict and analyze the failure of materials in various applications such as aerospace, automotive, and civil engineering. 3. Structural integrity assessment. The model helps in assessing the structural integrity of components and structures, ensuring they meet safety and performance standards. For research and development, it is widely used in R&D to study the fundamental mechanisms of ductile fracture and to develop new materials with improved properties. 5. Simulation of manufacturing processes. The GTN model can simulate manufacturing processes that involve significant deformation, such as metal forming and machining, to predict and mitigate potential defects. Abakis is a powerful tool that helps us to implement the GTN damage model. However, despite the software's capabilities, simulating the GTN model in Abakis is challenging. This is because Abakis itself does not have the GTN model in its material library. Therefore, we need to implement Abaki's subroutines to define the model. A subroutine that helps users write their own material models in Abaki's is VUMAT, which is provided for explicit solvers. Thus, we have used this subroutine in the tutorial to define the GTN damage model in Abaki's. Despite this challenge, Abaki's remains a powerful tool for simulating the GTN model. It offers advanced capabilities for detailed and accurate analysis of ductile fracture and material behavior. The UMAT allows users to define the mechanical constitutive behavior of materials, which is essential for implementing the desired damage models. This includes specifying how the material responds to stress, strain, and damage evolution. The UMAT can handle solution-dependent state variables. They are crucial for tracking the evolution of damage and other internal variables in the GTN model. Moreover, ViewMat can use field variables to account for spatial variations in material properties or environmental conditions. So, it helps us to enhance the accuracy of the GTN model. We have provided a step-by-step -step guide on writing the subroutine in this project. We hope you find it helpful.